Now with 100% more ducks! Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here with a mod spotlight for refined storage. Specifically, how to get going with it. Now let's say you've been playing Minecraft, and so that means you've been mining, and you've been crafting, and now you got a whole bunch of stuff. Well, what do you do with your stuff? Well, you can stick it in places, you can stick it in chests, you use storage drawers, I love storage drawers, but wouldn't it be nice to be able to have access to all this stuff all at the same time? Well, yes it would be! And refined storage will do that for us. So the first thing we need is the controller from the refined storage mod. And I'm not going to go over any of the recipes. The, you've got JEI to do that. You've, you've got mod authors who or mod pack authors who love to change recipes. So just look them up. I'm not going to spend the time on that. But controller, you plop that down, supply it with some power. And if we take a look at this, you can see it's got 32,000 RS, which is the refined storage energy unit. Uh, think of it as RF and, and you're good. And it's got nothing in the network because nothing's there. It's just this. So what's the second thing you should do? Well, you'll want to create the solderer. And this is going to be used lots and lots and lots and lots. Uh, if we take a look, it's got some inputs and outputs. And it's got some options here for upgrades. And I strongly suggest that you go ahead and make four of the speed upgrades as soon as possible. Because you're going to be doing all sorts of stuff in here. So having it go fast is great. So let's say let's grab some silicon and toss... No, not there. Over here. Toss that into the solderer and it'll start processing that really fast for us. Because all those speed upgrades. Yay, speed upgrades. If we take a look at the controller here... It now shows that it's chewing up some of that uh, power per tick because we've got a bunch of upgrades and we've got the solderer there. This is great to tell you, you know, what are the big power users and it's totally, you know, at this point, a total of 11. Not bad, not bad. So you've crafted a whole bunch of stuff here. You got your controller. What's next? Well, you need some place to store the stuff and we could good, we could go with the storage blocks. There's 1K, 4K, 16K, and 64K blocks, but I think we could do much better than that because we could go with the disk drive, and the nice thing about having this one block, it can hold eight storage disks in it, which is great. So let's go ahead and grab a 1K storage disk, slap that in place, and now this single item is holding as much as that other block, a, a thousand items, which is great. But there's still no way to put the stuff in, to get the stuff out, to access it. And for that, we need the grid. So that would be the, the fourth thing I would go ahead and create, is the, the grid. And that, that's okay. We can sit there and stick stuff into there, and that, that's just fine. But frankly, I wouldn't use the grid. I would go ahead and upgrade to the crafting grid. Let's go back up there. Because now we can access all the stuff in here, but also we can craft things at the same time. That is mighty nice to, to be able to do. So, you store a bunch of stuff and after a while, all your 1K drives fill up and you want to upgrade this, well, you can make some 64K drives and put that in place. But at this point, how do you get this stuff into the, the other drive. You know, you want to empty out the small and leave this full of the big. Well, for that, we need the disk manipulator. And for this, we can put these storage disks in place and it'll pipe the information out into the, the, the main network. So let's pull this 1K and it's got four items here. And we drop that in. Do, do, do. Yep, it's already done all four of them and it's piped them in. Now we could put some items in here and change it to export out from the network, but we're, we're not gonna deal with that for right now. Uh, so at this point, we've cleared out all the items. Sure enough, there's our four items right there. We're good to go and we don't need that anymore. So that in a nutshell is all we need for a refined storage network. We've got the controller and there can only be one. 
the solderer, and you're going to be using that a whole bunch. The disk drive with however many disks, uh, storage disks in there for your stuff. And then a grid, or preferably the crafting grid, so that you can access the things and make stuff at the same time. All of those mighty handy to have. But we've got the rest of the stuff sitting out here and it's not in there. Well, we can do stuff with that. Let's grab these things. Uh, this thing I've got right here is the importer. And if I slap that on the bottom of this ender chest, you can see it's starting to import all these items into the, the network. So let's go ahead and grab one of these. Let's say I don't want my importer to be putting the diamond ore in. So I'm gonna to switch to blacklist and tell it to blacklist that diamond ore. Everything else is great, but not that. And we can go ahead and slap it with speed upgrades to make things go faster. We could also give it a stack upgrade. And if we put that in there real quick, boom, 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 there goes the stacks. It's just that fast, which is really cool. And all the stuff is, is in here. And if we take a look at the, the disc here, 301 items. And it really doesn't matter what the items are. This storage count is for the total number. So if I had 64,000 stone blocks in here, it wouldn't care or whether I had 64,000 individual different things. Doesn't matter. As long as the total count is, you know, whatever the drive will hold, it'll hold it. So we've got all that stuff here, but I didn't really want the diamond ore in here. I wanted it kept in the ender chest. So we could do something with the exporter. Let's stick that on top. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in here saying, I want to export out the diamond ore. And if I go ahead and put the cable over here to connect this, we take a look and there's the diamond ore funneling back in. So using the importer and exporter, you can move items around on the network, but there's also the external storage. And I like that one because if we come here to this chest and connect it to there, all these items here are now being seen by the network. There they are. There's the, the diamonds and the gold and the, the iron and all the rest. It's there as part of the network and we can access it and pull it in and out. And we can also do the same thing over here with the storage drawer controller. And uh, let's say we set this to a slightly higher priority. Uh, the other thing that's really cool here is it tells us what the total storage amount is on my network. This has one, uh, one stack of emeralds in it, but it can hold up to 32. Well, if we take a look at this, 32 times 64 is 2048, which is really cool. So uh, if I were to grab a couple of these emeralds out, and sure enough, I can see them. I can put them back into my storage network. And if we take a back look over here, that's one full stack in there because this higher priority than the default of zero means it will go here first. And that's the only thing that can go in. So we're good to go. So yeah, this is a pretty darn simple little uh, mod in that you just need a controller. You're going to be best friends with the solderer because you're going to be making lots of things from it. Something to store the items. Uh, I like the disk drive with a bunch of storage disks in them and then a grid to view it. And I, I like going with the, the the crafting grid so I get the extra crafting goodness and all this other stuff you really don't need. You know, it, it's nice to have, but you really don't need those things. Uh, this is all you really need. Now, one extra word of caution, I would say be very careful with the controller. There can be only one. And what happens if you put more than one? That's what happens. You'll get an explosion and that's nobody's fun thing. So there you go. There is the getting started on the, the refined storage. And I love it. I think it's a great mod. I'm going to have a couple more uh, tutorials uh, dealing with uh, doing crafting as well as remote storage. But that's for a different video. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here doing a little mod spotlight for refined storage. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.